What's going on, everybody? This is a non-spoiler review for Alien Romulus. This is the brand new Alien film. It stars Kaylee Spaney, David Johnson, um, and Isabella Merced, and it is directed by Fede Alvarez. This movie, now I, I was preface it by saying this, that I love the first Alien. I love the Aliens, probably Aliens, maybe like some people a little bit more than the first. Um, the other ones kind of come and go in my memory. I think I liked some of them. I, uh, Prometheus I wasn't really a big fan of. I, whatever. They just kind of come and go inside of my head, the other ones, right? But I, Alien's iconic. But I know there's some people who live and die by this franchise and know all the lore and all that. Um, so that, that's not me. So I just went in going, well, what are they going to do that's like either new or can they continue to make the aliens scary now because I've seen it a million times over? And the answer is a resounding yes. Fede Alvarez is a major talent. He is the star of this film, the director, Fede Alvarez. He really knows, and whether you've seen uh, the other stuff he's done, the, the most recent, uh, I think he did Evil Dead in 2013. He did uh, Don't Breathe uh, and Don't Breathe 2. And so... He understands, first of all, he understands how to take an older IP, stay true to it, and he knows how to keep it fresh. And so that's essentially what he does in this movie, because the story is essentially that Kaylee Spaney and her brother, played by David Johnson, on their way out of this mining thing. They have to figure out where they're going to go now, now that they've done all their duty, but then something happens, and they not they can't get off the mining company, so they meet up with some old friends, and they have to get... They try to do a, a separate mission that ultimately puts them in the threat position of having to run away from the alien. That, I mean, that's that's really all you need to know. But the question is, do you care about the characters and care as people are getting killed off? Do you care? And again, the answer is yes, because the story is set up in a way that it makes me go, oh, I understand what Kaylee Spaney's objective is i understand her relationship with david johnson and i didn't know anything about david johnson coming into this movie he plays andy and he does such an excellent job of doing it because at first i'm like well who is this character then i kind of oh that's who this character is oh, i know exactly who that is and the relationship between the two of them works tremendously and then they have these other characters that they have to team up with and i thought there's going to be a lot of cliched characters and they're kind of but not really if that makes sense at all like i'm like oh that this person's gonna be a douche just to be a douche and it's like well no but there's a reason why and you're like oh, okay i kind of understand that i get that and what fede alvarez does so well in this movie is the it doesn't ever slow down it moves from the second we first see kaylee spaney's reign the second you see her it's like from the moment that story starts it's like it just goes and what he does and there's a really great scene where they're in space and you keep you know the whole no one can hear you scream in space and then there's always been criticisms of other movies that will have space and there's just explosions and stuff going on and i'm like yeah it's a movie but in this they actually use the the non-use of sound sometimes in a way that's just very powerful and the aliens look great um, there was, there's a couple of times that I said, oh, I wish they wouldn't have done that. They didn't necessarily need to say that one. That didn't, yeah, I get it, but I don't think you needed to. Um, but there were so few and far between because I was always on the edge of my seat. There is, there's tie-ins. This movie takes place in between Alien and Aliens. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, some people might have more of a problem with the timeline. I think from what I remember from those two movies, that this fits in pretty well. I thought they set it up pretty well. I read an article about this movie like five, six months ago that was pretty inaccurate of all the things that they thought was going to dishonor the original movie one and two from the way that this was presented because it can't happen because of this, this, and this. And I thought it did an excellent job of saying, well, no, this is actually how this is able to happen and still continue the continuity of what, we set bef what was set before us. Um, but I think that Besides Fede Alvarez, his, his sound, his shots, the, the music in this is is wonderful. But I think that Kaylee Spaney also deserves a lot of attention because I liked her from Civil War. And she's been in other things too, but there was Civil War. She's having a good year with this one in Civil War. She takes you on the journey and you believe the things that she's going through 
when she has to be in the positions of being um, cornered by the aliens, you believe that she can figure a way to fight and do all that. It's like, it's, it's all believable. So the ending again, non-spoiler, there's going to be people who might not like what they go for. And as I think people have talked about, it's like a big swing. Um, I didn't mind it. I thought I said, Oh, that's interesting, weird and creepy, but I still think that it works. And I think that it sets it up really well. And what I also enjoyed what Fede Alvarez does here is that by getting a cast, and Isabella Merced, also very, very good in the movie, Eileen Wu, Spike Fern, um, all do a very good job as the crew. And they're all quality actors that, and I say this with no disrespect, they're, they're, but they're, the budget for them was probably not much at all, right? It's like, a, for them, it's probably a good payday, but they didn't have to overspend on big A-list talent in order to do it because the alien's gonna sell the movie. They make this movie for 70, 80 million dollars, in general, um, and it delivers by going back to that old school way of filmmaking, and it felt like it belonged. It didn't feel like, oh, this is just them trying to build off this IP like other movies have. It felt like it belonged with one and two. It did. Um, so I really enjoyed it way more than I thought I would, only because I just, it was like, like I said, I've just seen so many of these. I'm like, how do, how do they make the aliens scary? I've seen this a million times. I know what can defeat them. I know how, what they're going to do. I know this. And it's like, it, it continued to be fresh. And because of that, I think that that's why people are responding to it. And I was already a Fede Alvarez fan going into this. I'm even more so now. I'm going to look forward to the more things that he does. I really want him to get a Terminator movie. I really want him to get a Terminator movie because I think the structure of doing a, 60 or 70 million dollar movie and going to the bare kind of bones and showing like old school kind of filmmaking relying on your actors relying on the characters relying on the sounds relying on the music relying on that stuff instead of just the you know the volume and the big action pieces and the cgi and all that there's certainly some of that there's some stuff going on in this movie that's cgi and there's some other things that's technology that Used that I think some people may have a problem with, but overall the 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 meat of this is just reminds me of old school filmmaking. So I'm gonna go pretty big. I'm gonna go 4.2 out of five for Alien Romulus. Um, shoot, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna go 4.4. Hell yeah, I enjoyed myself. Not going back on it. 4.4. I had a good time in the damn theater. I really liked it, and I, I guess because I was surprised. Um, and I'll watch it again. Anyway, so are you guys going to see this? Do you care? Put your comments in there. Let me know. If you're brand new to this channel, subscribe to it. I do out of the theater reactions. I do reviews, obviously. I do spoiler reviews. I'm going to start doing more movie reactions. And uh, I have other channels. I have clips channels where I do interviews with, uh, with, with celebrity guests and, and all those types of things. So please join me. Join me here. Thank you. And we'll see you very soon. I was having a barbecue, the family, and I was going to go and we went, went to pick up some games for the kids to play, and I was picking up cornhole, and while I was at the sports store getting it, I kept seeing Liquid IV, and more and more and more, I'm so excited that people are learning about Liquid IV, because I've known about them now for a bit since they've been on the show. It's the summer. The summer is thick right now, and your favorite summer treat could be giving you extraordinary hydration. Liquid IV has refreshing summer flavors like Popsicle Firecracker, it's got Rainbow Sherbet. It hits the spot when you need transformative, hydrating relief all summer long. So I really do enjoy it. It's been nice to have it. I Look, I moved, and I live in a very humid area now, and it's great to have Liquid IV. It really is, and I love this Popsicle one, so I'm showing it right now. So what you want to do is they have so many different flavors, too, that makes it just really, really fresh. And they have you can choose from their line of sugar-free flavors. They have raspberry melon, they have white peach, they have green grape. It's great. You can go to the website, and you can find all of it. It keeps your wellness rituals fresh and to keep you motiv motivated, keeps you hydrated. So what you want to do is you want to tear, pour, live more. One stick, 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. It's powered by LIV Hydroscience, which is an optimized ratio of electrolytes, essential vitamins, and clinically tested nutrients that turn ordinary water into extraordinary hydration. It's got three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, eight essential vitamins and nutrients, always non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. 
So indulge in hydration this summer with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV, but you got to use liquidiv.com and use the code BIGTHING at checkout. You get 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today. Use that promo code BIGTHING at liquidiv.com. So many comments lately about everybody that's buying the tushies. And I see why you're buying them. I love them. You love them. Chris Carr loves them. Everybody loves the tushies. I'm so excited to get you guys to get a tushy that I almost thought about doing this from the bathroom, but then I was like, no, I want you to get it. It's terrible. That's a terrible thing for me to do, but I want to do it because I want to show you how much I love the tushies. Check this out alone. Look at this. Just open up the toilet lid. You spray the water right in your tush. It's wonderful. Look at that. That's how it works. It's that easy. You put it on the toilet, you open it up, you spray the water on your butt. It's lovely. It's going to change the way that you think about cleaning up after a spicy dump in a coffee shop or a porter potty during a music festival. You're going to want to take Tushy with you everywhere, and thankfully you can. Because the Tushy Travel, it's collapsible, it's durable, and discreet portable bidet that gives you the most confident clean on the go. I keep telling people about these things. Everybody are getting the Tushies now, and everyone's like, oh, man, can I use your code? Can I use your code? Of course you can. It's the best. I got one. I've got two in my house right now, and it is so wonderful. We feel classy in this house. It's got a three-stream nozzle for a total clean. It's got a new air mesh bag for discreet travel, faster dry time. It comes in five new colors. Every Hello Tushy bidet comes with a 30-day hassle, free return, and 12-month warranty. So stop Wiping until you bleed. Join the 2 million butts who have already made the switch to Tushy. For a limited time only, our listeners get 10% off your entire order, but you got to use that code big thing. 10% off Hello Tushy, H-E-L-L-T-U-S-H-Y.com with the promo code big thing.